Hello, my name is Li Ming Shi from Auburg University. And today, I'm going to present you a paper that uh, that's been accepted by the WASPA conference. And uh, this paper is a joint work with Jesper Kerr, Jesper Rinder, Max Alito, and Max Graspo Christensen. Uh, uh, this paper is about the fundamental frequency estimation by using Kármán filter. Mm. What we are, my project is about to detect uh, whether uh, is uh, the diagnosis of Parkinson's disease detection uh, by by using speech signals. So uh, uh, my main objective is to extract uh, the physiological meaningful features, and then we feed these features to the classifiers, and uh, then try to distinguish whether a person has Parkinson or not. Mm, and we, we, therefore, the physiological meaningful feature are vital for uh, in uh, for my project. In this paper, we try to estimate uh, the one of the uh, one of the important features uh, in speech signals uh, that is pitch estimation method. For example, non-parametric based method and parametric based me method. Uh, the parametric based method like the harmonic model based pitch estimation is usually more robust than the non-parametric based method like the autocorrelation based approach. In this paper, we, we model the non-stationary temporal uh, evolution of frequency and the amplitudes using the first order mark chains and uh, we we derive the observation uh, equation based on the harmonic model and uh, formulate it as a compact and non nonlinear matrix form. Then we use the Kármán filter uh, uh, for uh, fundamental frequency estimation, uh, which which features very small size of state space and detailed continuous fundamental frequency and amplitude estimates. Mm, this is the poster. Now let's look at uh, the uh, uh, the slides. First, we will talk a bit about uh, the the harmonic models. Um, consider the harmonic model as uh, as equation one. The y y n represents the noisy uh, noisy speech. S n is the speech. V n is the noise. S n can be can be uh, denoted by a parametric model that is the harmonic model as equation two, and the the both the amplitudes uh, are uh, time varying. You can see the time index n here, and the uh, capital K represents the number of harmonics. Uh, theta theta n k is represents the uh, the phase. The initial, the instantaneous phase, uh, uh, which can be uh, can be denoted as equation three, uh, and traditionally the fundamental frequency and amplitudes are time invariant in your short time frame with a length with a certain length n. If we combine the equation one, two, and three, and using Euler's uh, Euler's formula, we can obtain the equation at uh, at four. And then collecting n observation signals into a vector and uh, writing four into a matrix form, it can be can be written as as a linear form five. Uh, by using the ID Gaussian noise assumption on the elements of of the noise, we can we can easily obtain the amplitudes estimates, the least squares estimates of the amplitudes. And if we replace the amplitudes in five, the uh, the maximum likelihood estimator of the fundamental frequency can be written as uh, can can be re uh, written as uh, equation six. Then we can, uh, as you can see, our cost function is nonlinear with respect to the the fundamental frequency. Uh, omega zero, so we we can build a grid and search which uh, which which uh, which pitch on this grid will maximize uh, maximize the, the cost function. Now let's introduce the Kármán filter based fundamental frequency estimation. Um, 
u v u v formulates the the continuous phase we we can we can have this form and uh, then the instantaneous frequency of the case harmonic can be can be uh, approximated by the equation as follows uh, as we know that for the karma filter we we have a hidden state vector that uh, we we need to estimate in this in this problem uh, in in our problem we build the state vector as follows so uh, we include the fundamental frequency the uh, the uh, amplitudes for different harmonics and uh, the phase all together into a vector so the the vector length is uh, k plus 2 k is the uh, number of harmonics then the relation between the phase of different harmonics from seven and from equation seven and equation eight, we can uh, we can express the uh, the relation between phase of different harmonics as this one. Uh, then the final form of approximate time varying harmonic model substituting uh, if we substitute eight and nine into equation two. Remember the equation two is uh, is the harmonic model. Then the harmonic model can be reformulated as equation ten. Uh, if we write it into a matrix form, we can uh, we 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 will have equation eleven. Mm, now, since we are trying to estimate the continuous fundamental frequency, the continuous amplitudes. So we use the first order Markov chain random walk model to, uh, for the, both the fundamental frequency and the amplitudes. The last state, uh, uh, remember the last state in our state vector is the phase. So you, we, uh, we use the phase update equation seven uh, and, uh, the, and, and nine under the definition eight that uh, then we can we can uh, relate the last states with the, the previous uh, time in uh, time is instance at at the equation 13 then the state uh, using using both equation 12 and 13 that we can build the state equation in matrix form at 14 then, as we all know, that uh, for the uh, standard camera filter, mm, we uh, uh, we cannot deal with nonlinear uh, observation equations in our problem. As you can see, the state equation is in the linear form, but uh, the but uh, the observation equation is nonlinear form. So. Uh, so we need to we need to uh, somehow linearize it. Here we use the first order Taylor expansion to this HN is the Jacobi matrix. It's basically the derivative uh, first order derivative matrix with respect to this vector. Um, now that uh, the we can use the this uh, equation thirteen. 15, 16, and 17. Uh, we can we can use the standard extended Kármán filter uh, to uh, uh, in our problem. So we have both the forward step and backward step. The backward step is for offline uh, implementation. The forward step is for online implementation. Now let's see some results. Uh, for um, first, uh, first uh, we test our signals for speech signals. Uh, why were you away a year, Roy? The sampling rate is a thousand hertz. Uh, the number of harmonic is set to five, and uh, the variance of noise is set to ten to the power of four. The uh, remember that uh, in Kármán filter, it's not the the value of the. Uh, the uh, noise variance that's important it's the it's the ratio between the noise variance and the uh, and the state variance uh, state noise variance that's important the snr for gaussian y noise is set to 10 db qm and p11 and uh, p is are set to identity matrix mm -hmm. 
here is the results um, as you can see uh, from the spectrogram that uh, our our pitch estimates uh, can can very nicely uh, 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 track the pitch uh, in the speech signal very well mm, the shaded area in the uh, in this part is the uncertainty and uh, we also have the amplitude estimates as here if you see the the uh, the the green circle on the spectrogram the energy for this harmonics it's mu it's much higher than the first and other harmonics so it also uh, shows uh, shoes for in the amplitude estimates our amplitudes it's much higher uh, for for the uh, second harmonic it's uh, it's larger than the rest of the harmonics mm. We also you uh, tested our uh, our algorithm for speech signals of sustained R signal from a female with Parkinson disease. The sampling rate is eight thousand hertz. Noise variance set to uh, this one, and the fundamental frequency average uh, over every ten millisecond segment. Um, as you can see here, that uh, this EGG fundamental frequency is uh, uh, it uh, uh, can be built uh, somehow as the uh, as the baseline for our problem. Um, as you can see here, our uh, extended karma uh, smoother method can very nicely uh, fit the uh, is much better closer. Is much closer to the EGG fundamental frequency uh, estimates than the well-known swipe method and the fast nonlinear least square method. And we also have quant uh, quantized the results as follows. The uh, as you can see, our uh, our uh, we used the the, the EGG uh, fundamental frequency estimates at the uh, at the uh, baseline and uh, then we calculate the mean ab absolute error mean relative error and root mean square error as you can see that for extended common smoother it's uh, it's much uh, better than the, the uh, state of art method uh, we in addition we we test our algorithm for musical instrument uh, decreasing in frequency from node B5 to C5 from University of Iowa uh, Musical Instrument Sample Database. Mm, mm, the harmonic number for this in this case is set to 2. Um, this is the flute signal uh, which have a, a vibrato, uh, vibrato sound in it. So as you can see here, uh, from the spectrogram, our uh, our karma uh, filter based method can uh, can track the pitch very nicely. And also note that uh, during the transition period, that uh, our our we have a, a larger uncertainty in other areas. Besides, I would also like to show you some result for Parkinson disease. The figure on the left hand side is the from a male speaker with Parkinson's disease and on the right hand side is from a healthy male speaker. Again, the proposed extended Karman smoother can track the pitch very well for both cases. Um, also, it can be concluded that uh, the, uh, for, the male, uh, for the male speaker with Parkinson's disease, it had uh, a uh, larger deviation than the uh, healthy male speaker. Mm, compared with the popular in method, uh, our proposed method uh, can not only give uh, detailed and continuous estimates, uh, but also it uh, it shows the uh, uh, the dynamic of the pitch. In conclusion, we have proposed a fundamental frequency estimation algorithm based on parametric harmonic model, non-stationary temporal. Evol evolution of frequency and estimates uh, amplitudes are modeled at first order Markov chains. Com compact nonlinear matrix forms of state and observation equations are formulated. 
and an extended Kalman smoother for the problem is derived. Continuous fundamental frequency and the estimates, uh, amplitude estimates uh, for sustained walls are obtained. Thank you very much.